Hello, my name is Anila Mindrao, and I'm here to invite you to, into my studio for a behind the scenes look at my process and um, my art practice for the American Craft Made Online Artist Directory. So I'm currently a resident at the Aramont School of Arts and Crafts. So this is one of their studios. Um, and I'm here specifically because I'm an interdisciplinary artist. And so my practice uses a lot of different materials. I'm a mixed race Malaysian Chinese artist. Um, so all of my work comes from a place of thinking about my cultural heritage and the worlds I want to build to exist in and what creates resources for us to think about um, being a part of a more beautiful, more vibrant future. And that's where the mixed media comes in as something that's really important to me um, to think about multifaceted worlds. And part of that is working with materials that seem dichotomous, things that are hard and things that are soft, and remembering that them working together is actually more vibrant than when they are on their own. So I can show you some of the work that's in my studio. Um, behind me, you're seeing a lot of large handmade paper pieces. And one of the things I love about paper making is that it can be really sculptural in ways that people don't expect. And so I work a lot with a fiber called abaca, and you can beat it very, very finely in a Hollander beater until it gets really short and it's very high shrinkage. So then it has really interesting sculptural properties as well as being really translucent. So that's what these pods here are made out of. As well as these are particularly utilizing something called a blowout process. So all of these like viney, um, viney moments and that material is actually cotton. Blowouts are a process where you pull a fresh sheet of handmade paper and then use a stencil. By placing that stencil on the paper while it is still wet, then you can use a hose to blow away all of the material that um, is not covered by the stencil like you're seeing in this video. So a huge part of my practice is experimentation and I like to experiment with the 3D pen and I feel like this is really important to speak to the when I'm talking about um, building new worlds and futures that there's some element of sci-fi and some element of technology in my work which is otherwise very handmade and so this is a 3D pen and so you put the plastic in and it basically just works like a glorified hot glue gun and extrudes it. I really am drawn to this process because um, a lot of my work is coming from looking at Malaysian batik and Malaysian textiles, which you can see here that I'm also working with digitally printed Malaysian batik right now in the studio. Um, but that process is a wax resist process where um, often they're using basically like a cunting uh, pen and so painting with wax onto fabric and I really love that this is like replicating that sort of process where the um, I'm extruding this into the forms into floral forms and then dipping those in abaca and playing with that and sort of revealing what would have disappeared in the batik process. I think it's really important to think about where we draw our resources from to navigate this world. And for me, a huge influence on that is also people who've passed away. Um, and so my acha, my great grandmother had passed away um, right before I started working on this body of work. So I really felt her presence in the studio and I really think about my work as honoring people, whether they're relatives or not, who've passed away and that are supporting me in this world to imagine these futures. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and take a little peek into my process and my world and this beautiful studio that I'm in. And I hope that you will find me on Instagram at turmeric and clay. Um, that's T-U-R-M-E-R-I-C-A-N-D-C-L-A-Y. And you can find my work on my website, which is just my name, A-N-E-L-A. Oh.com. Um, feel free to reach out. My email and phone are um, available if you message me on Instagram and or you can find that information on my website. Thank you so much.